welcome to day eight of the Vigo Way. Day eight. That's amazing. That's the first day of week two. You made it into week two. Congratulations. Um, you should be mega, mega proud of yourself. This is a really, like, quite a hard diet to do because it is, it just makes your body, it's like going through puberty again or something, isn't it? You know, you change, you're changing your hormones in your body, your enzymes and everything. So if you stuck with it this far, well done. Um, you should be proud of yourself. You're trying something new and you're trying um, to be better for your body. And that's you know, all we should do in this life, really, is listen to, to our bodies and do what's right for them. So many people get caught up in um, eating crap and eating unconsciously and we think, oh, it'll be all right one day. But it won't be because when we get old, we're going to have all of these horrible illnesses that you see a lot of old people having now that just ignore it. Um, I think we're the generation that are learning from these mistakes and we're wanting to treat ourselves better. So, yeah, welcome to week two. It's really good. I think you're going to... If you have been suffering from the keto flu, I think you're going to have that lifted from you this week and you're going to really get into that, that zing energy of uh, being in ketosis. Um, and if you are still suffering um, quite badly from keto flu, have a look to make sure you are getting enough potassium, enough sodium and enough... Uh, what's the other one? Oh, I've completely forgotten. Magnesium, that's it. Thanks magnesium make sure you're getting enough of those um make sure you're getting enough water make sure you're making those electrolyte drinks that i showed you um oh the sun's out that's nice um make some um broth well they say if you're not doing it vegetarian or vegan they say a bone broth but i think that bouillon stuff that you can get from holland and barrett's it's like a like a stock kind of thing that you can make into a drink it's like a little cup of soup basically but that helps too um and the main, the main thing is the water, lots and lots of water, drink loads of water um, and take your vitamins. So, and, and look at, make sure you're getting, you're not eating too many carbs because if you are eating too many carbs and you're still on keto flu, it's probably keeping you in a perpetual state. Like I said, I think I, I went into a little bit of a keto flu over the weekend because I was surrounded by friends that were eating carbs and my discipline is not the best. So I had a couple of like, I think I had like, it's pathetic, you know, like three or four crisps or something like that. Um, I can't even remember anything else. Uh, I think it was mainly when they had crisps or nachos. So, and I think that took me out of ketosis a little bit, even though I was still testing that I was in it. But it's easily done and it can easily make you feel crap. Um, so yeah, so... Anyway, um, today is Tuesday and it's the first day and welcome to the second week of the year, 2019. Whoop, whoop. The world hasn't ended yet. <laughs> um, so I think that, like I said yesterday, this week, we're going to be using some of the same recipes and I want you guys to get experimenting. Like I'm going to be giving you a guide I'm gonna, and if I'm not going to repeat showing you how to make stuff, I'll just be saying we're going to be doing this at this time. And if you guys make something completely new um, that is keto friendly, uh, feel free to save it into my fitness pal. Um, share it in the link below, um, the comments below. I'd love to see it. Um, obviously, you don't have to call it the Vigo way. It's your own recipe. So you save this whatever you want to. But just put it down so other people can have a look at what you put in your recipe and make it themselves. And I'd like to make it myself. Um, another thing about the uh, vegan diet, the keto diet, it can get a bit restrictive. Um, if you haven't got a lot of money, you can end up eating the same things um, over and over again, which is great because they're all nice things and you can make them in different ways. But it's nice to be able to share with each other and give each other hints. Uh, one of my aims for this week, um, depending on money, if I can get some extra ingredients, is that I'd like to try and make some kind of um, dessert I've got some coconut flour and I've got some almond flour. Uh, I've got some sweetener and things like that. But I'd like to try and make a brownie or something. I don't really do desserts a lot, but I think it'd be good for you guys. Um, but anyway, talking about desserts, I tried to make my own one last night. I didn't um, look at it again last night, but I did, but it was still not set. So should we go and have a look now and see if it's a failure or not? Dun, dun, dun. Let's go to the kitchen. 
Okay, we're going to the kitchen. I'm going to see if my desserts worked. Did they or did they not? I suppose they could be breakfast, not just desserts. There's the psyllium husk bread. Still going strong. And here... Um, they don't really look that set to me. Let's give it a taste test. I don't think I have enough chia seeds. I think you have loads of chia seeds for these to set properly. Um, let's give it... No, it does not look set at all, does it? It tastes nice. But it's not a dessert. <laughs> Okay, so we have basically a smoothie split out into four of these. That one looks a bit more set. So I think this kind of answers what I'm going to be having for breakfast this morning. I think this morning we will be having a smoothie because I don't want to waste these. Um, yeah, they're not far from setting, but they aren't set. So yeah, this is going to be a nice smoothie. So waste not, want not. Um, so this is going to be a different kind of smoothie because it's got different ingredients in. So I will save this as the Vigo Way breakfast pudding smoothie, <laughs> as it was supposed to be a pudding. Um, but yeah, I might add a bit of extra liquid to that, um, just to make sure it kind of makes it into a nice liquid smoothie. These, this is a really good example of things go wrong on keto and they don't turn out how you want them to but you can still use them for something else like you saw how i made that last night it was basically the same ingredients as a smoothie but with chia seeds added um i was just trying to be lucky and trying to make something myself but i'm not a pudding expert so this tells me that you know i knew i didn't have enough chia seeds but i thought i'd give it a go anyway so this tells me either next time i need to use a less a smaller quantity of the other ingredients or I just need more chia seeds. Um, like I said, this is going to be something that hopefully uh, we can do this week. So I'm going to be have we're going to be having a smoothie um, for breakfast today, and I know we had one yesterday. If you don't want that, have a fry up. You know, have, get some mushrooms and stuff like that, and that makes it a fry up. But smoothie is good for if you're in a rush and you're on the go. Um, and I think at lunchtime today I should be making a soup. So we're going to be making a, a greens soup. It's going to have broccoli and kale and spinach and uh, a bit of protein powder and some uh, margarine to make it fatty. Um, that's going to be really nice. And then this evening, um, we're going to be making um, an alt a, a alteration to the cauliflower mashed potato and bangers. So bangers and mash. It's going to have swede in it too. So this time we're going to be mixing the cauliflower with swede and have a bang as a mash. So it's another way to make the mashed potato. So I shall see you again at lunchtime for the soup. Enjoy your first day in week two and well done again. Bye. Hello, so it's not quite lunchtime yet, but I've got to work online um, for another hour or so before I can make lunch. And I'm really, really, really hungry. So I'm going to use some of the psyllium husk bread that we've made. I'm going to cut two really thin slices, or maybe just one really thin slice, and have some avocado on toast as a really nice, like, high-protein, high-fat snack before. So you've got all the ingredients to do it. You just need to slice some bread, put some avocado on. Um, and this is an example of a snacking in between meals on a keto diet when you're hungry, um, if you can't eat straight away. Um, Always have these things ready so you don't be tempted to, so you're not tempted to binge on crap, basically. Cool. Um, I'm going to enjoy my snack. I hope you enjoy yours. If you have an idea for another awesome snack, leave a comment below. Hello. So for lunch today, we are going to be having mushroom and broccoli soup. 
yum yum. This is a really simple, easy soup to make, and we're gonna put vegan margarine in it or coconut oil to higher heighten that fat content. Um, and you might think, oh, where's all the protein in this? And yeah, it's not a high protein um, lunch, but it is a high fat lunch, and it's just nice. You don't always have to have meals that are full of protein or full of loads of loads of fat. You can have some really nice veggies, and you can supplement um, your protein and fat with maybe a smoothie as a snack in between. Like I said this week, we're gonna do whatever it takes to get to our macros, even if that means snacking in between meals or having a smaller meal in the evening because we've eaten too much. Anyway, let's make soup. So this meal is so simple, we've got half a broccoli and we've got um, some mushrooms and some spinach just to add some flavor. So, First thing you want to do is get some water on the boil. I always boil it in a kettle first and then put it into the pan, um, which just gets everything going a bit quicker. You want a fair amount of water in there. Um, just to give you an idea, I put like that much water in. And you can instantly start cutting things and putting them into the pan. So, how much am I using? That's a very good question. We are using 126 grams. Let's say 130 grams of broccoli. It's always better to go too high than too low. Um, and we're using... We've lost the mushroom. Ah. And we're using 300 grams of mushrooms. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So I wanted this to be mainly mushroom based. Because mushroom soup on a day like today. <sighs> Grim. But I love this kind of weather. I think I have Nordic ancestry. But mushroom soup and a day like today is important. Now when I'm cooking, normally I like to make chunky soup. When I'm cooking a soup with mushrooms in, I normally use a blender if I have one to hand. Um, a smoothie kind of, not a smoothie blender, a soup blender. Because it just makes the flavour of mushrooms so much nicer. And we'll also be putting things like thyme and rosemary if we have any in this soup to make it extra wintry. Um, the broccoli just adds a bit of calcium and uh, I think magnesium and stuff that it has. Um, so yeah, so that's all in. And as you can see, it's not quite the water's lower, but I don't want it to be too watery, so that's why it's done like that. So we're gonna let this cook for about 10 or 15 minutes, let it boil. Um, it's not quite boiling yet, but it will be. And I shall show you the rest later. Before we use the blender, like as it's cooking, um, you could try and use the masher just to, just to see if things are kind of ready to blend. See how well the broccoli is crushing. I love how dark mushroom soup goes. I'm going to add a bit of spinach. I'm going to add like, like what, a handful, which is probably half a cup of spinach as well. Let's add some garlic, so about a teaspoon of garlic. <gasps> That's the last of the garlic, no! And some sage. Gotta love sage. Fortunately, I haven't got any rosemary, which is sad. Um, let's add some thyme. A little time to see you now. Have a little time. Oh, a lot of time. <laughs> Probably about half a teaspoon. And some pepper. And some salt. I'm using horrible salt because I've run out of Himalayan rock salt. And it isn't expensive, but it's not cheap either. So that's going to wait until payday. It's instantly smelling lush. Very, very uh, wintry and lovely. Uh, I think it'd be ready to try and 
whiz with the buzzer, so let's get that. I don't know what these are called. Blenders, I think. Um, but these are just so good. So I'm going to turn the oven off while I'm trying this, because that would just be even worse. Make sure you kind of get them to the bottom so they don't go everywhere. tablespoons of margarine in. You can use coconut oil if you want, but I think that would give it a bit of a weird flavour. So, one, two, three, four. We need just to get that fat content up, because um, the body will like that. I don't want to confuse it. down to medium to low heat. Oh, it really is smelling lush and wintry. Let's taste a little bit. That doesn't need any more blending or anything. That's perfect as it is. Cool. So I'm going to add, um, I'm going to have a slice of psyllium husk bread to this. Um, which is completely optional for you. Um, you can just have soup, but now we've got cinnamon husk bread, I want to kind of use it up. So I'm going to have a bit to slice. This is ready now. You can just cook it for a bit more, but I'm going to serve mine up because I haven't got long before I've got to work um, online. So this is done. I shall be back in a minute to the finished article. Ta da! Here's the finished product. Um, and. Ah. Oh. Smells so good, uh, so wintry, perfect for this kind of weather. <laughs> Do you like rainy weather? I absolutely love it. I love all weather, but I love it, it's so cozy. Anyway, enjoy your soup. And there's still another bowl left. Um, so the ingredients that I put in to my fitness pal, which is under the Vigo Way mushroom and broccoli winter soup, is serves two. So remember that, it's two servings in there. Um, Enjoy, and uh, I'll see you at dinner time for some bangers and mash. Again, perfect food for this weather. <laughs> see you later. So it's been about two and a half hours since lunchtime, and um, I've just had the other bowl of soup because it, I was hungry. And the recipe that I put in today, uh, I put into my food tracking, and it's part of my all-day tracking. So rather than having like a smoothie or anything to up my protein and stuff I wanted to have the rest of the soup so that's the great thing about when you make something if you put all of the ingredients into your food tracking and you're still within your macros for that day and you get full up you can save some for later and you can still eat that in a day um, so the keto diet might be restrictive in some ways with the amount of ingredients you can use but it's really not restrictive in other ways where you know you can actually eat a good amount and feel full up and satiated so yeah, it's nice. Good evening, Vigonians. Um, and as I said earlier, tonight for dinner, we have a uh, bangers and mash, keto style. And it's, a, it's exactly the same as how we made it last week, but the only difference is uh, with the mash, we're gonna be using half swede and half cauliflower this time. So we're using uh, 150 grams of cauliflower and we're going to be using 400 grams of swede, but it's going to be roasted and after it's roasted it goes right down. So it's going to be um, 150 grams. It, it's amazing how much it loses weight. So I'll cut up uh, 350 to 400 grams and roast it. But anyway, let's have a look. So sorry about the mess, but as I said, I'm a messy cook. We've got 400 grams of swede. 150 grams of um, 
cauliflower and we've got six sausages because I'm making this for Mark two. So I'm going to be having three and we're having gravy. So it's, uh, what we're going to do is just put it all in the oven like last time and, and then heat up some oil with some spices in um, and butter and onion and that'll make the mash. So let's get started. So like last time, spread out um, the cauliflower on the baking sheet and maybe break up a bit smaller. So I'm gonna put a bit of olive oil on this. Okay, so we've got the oven on 190 degrees, um, I'm going to stick it in. So we're going to be cooking them for about 25 minutes. So set the on. And while that's doing, we're going to be boiling Mark's potatoes and also making the onion and the margarine, getting that ready because we're going to add that to make the cauliflower like last time, the mashed potato. So I've cut up one little onion and I've put some uh, grapeseed oil in there and I'm just going to put that on at like a low to medium heat and let that cook for a bit. Um, need a wooden spoon. And then we're going to add one that's cooked a bit more, we're going to add the spices, so we're putting some garlic in it. <gasps> we have no garlic! Oh no! Everything's over, cancelled dinner, the garlic's gone, that's ruined my whole life. Oh my god! Oh hang on, no, we have garlic. Haha, we have garlic chips. So, we're going to have garlic, I'm happy again now, sulking over. Um, garlic some salt um, I think we've got some in here got, again it's a uh, kind of bad because it's sea salt but it's better than a uh, crappy table salt so oh, no, I hope that actually is salt so good. <laughs> cool, so that's cooking. Can let that cook for a while and then we're gonna add uh, like four tablespoons of margarine to it and a, bit, and a little bit of um, dairy-free milk. Cool. Now we're gonna add the four tablespoons of spread. In a minute, I'll be adding the dairy free milk. So I've added the dairy free milk, and now I'm gonna add the garlic chips that have saved the life. Saved my life. Oh my god, I cannot speak this evening. So that is that mixture done now. That's pretty much ready for when things are roasted. So I'm gonna um, switch these over. It just needs to go on a high heat. And I'm gonna put this to one side until the other things are ready and we heat that all up again. Um, the cauliflower and sweet take about 30 to 40 minutes, not just 20 minutes, so longer than I said. Um, so looking, this is perfect really. Hopefully, one of these should be okay. Let's have a taste. Perfect. Mm. 
the, uh, but the contents of what we cooked earlier, like the um, onion and everything, into the smoothie maker. I'm gonna put everything else in there now. And like last time, you know, it won't go perfect. That should be done. Oh wow, that is lush. So that's everything blended together, it was absolutely fine. So now I'm just going to serve it up like before and I shall show you the finished piece. Here is the finished article, yum yum yum, and it looks like a really good uh, constituency, consistency. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tired. Um, let's laugh at Nate's words, yay! Um, but yeah, it looks awesome. Well done if you've made this. Day eight, near basically complete after this. According to my macros, I'm done. So, well done on your day eight. Um, have a nice smooth evening. If you get hungry, snack on something light in carbs, like nuts and stuff, or lettuce. Lettuce is a good thing to snack on, so low on carbs. Uh, burns fat while you sleep, apparently. Um, but yeah, have a nice evening, and I shall see you tomorrow for day nine nearly halfway. Ah, bye.